Hey guys, Into Weapons back in with you. I wanted to do a quick video on a topic that I know most of you are familiar with, but I uh, wanted to throw the information out there just in case it reaches somebody who's maybe newer to the game. Uh, what we're looking at here is two different rifles. One on the right uh, is a Mosin Nagant Model 44, the one on the left is a Mosin Nagant Model 38. Uh, the one on the left has been counterboard, the one on the right has not. If you can't tell the difference by looking at the two right now, don't feel bad. A lot of people cannot tell the difference. And that's really kind of why I wanted to cover this topic. Um, ultimately, if you have a keen eye or uh, a good eye for detail, you would have noticed that the uh, barrel on the right has a smaller diameter exit uh, on, the, on the muzzle than the one on the left. Uh, and what that means is essentially the one on the right has not been counterboard. So if you were to take a look at that, you would see the rifling lines go all the way to the end of the barrel. The one on the left, the rifling lines stop right about here. What they've actually done is drilled into the barrel, removed a layer of steel down to a specific spot where they felt the rifling was good again. And there's good reason that they've done that. Uh, during the use uh, and wear and tear of a rifle, such as the one on the right, you'll actually lose your rifling grooves uh, through the use of the rifle. And uh, as we all know, the rifling or the lines in the barrel is what provides you the accuracy of your gun. So if you have a worn set of um, rifling patterns in your gun, you're not going to have very good accuracy. Uh, the other thing it fixes is the actual crown itself. Uh, you'll notice the one on the right here is a bit pitted, rusted, and corroded uh, from use. Not, not, not unusual. Um, and the uh, rifling on the inside is dirty. Uh, the one on the left uh, has a nice clean muzzle break and crown. Uh, there's no pits or rust. It's freshly crowned. Uh, and if you were to look down here where the rifling starts, it's a nice clean line. Very crisp and clear. Uh, so it, it, it definitely does help with uh, the accuracy of the rifle. Um, it should, uh, unfortunately, it does drop the value of the gun. So if you do have a, a Model 38 such as this, it will um, decrease the value of the rifle if it has been counterboard. Uh, but ultimately, again, it does increase the, um, the accuracy of the rifle. So it's a, kind of a trade-off. Uh, one quick way of testing, guys, if you have a counterboard rifle or not is the 7.62x54R test. Just take a round here and you'll stick it into the end of the barrel and as you'll notice the uh, round doesn't go all the way in. It stops maybe a halfway up, a half inch up. If you were to take the same round and stick it into the end of the Model 38 you'll notice that uh, this round goes all the way up to the shoulder of the uh, round. So it goes in quite a bit further. Uh, you can go a step further if you're not able to get a live round down the barrel of a gun and just use one of these gauges here uh, you can stick that in there and just measure the uh, actual um, diameter of the hole. And as you can see, this one reads at 0 .30. Uh, if we stick the uh, gauge in the same barrel here, we're getting a 0.35. So a 0 .05 difference in, in diameter of, of those two barrels. One quick illustration that I found online shows you kind of the differences. Uh, this one has not been counterboard, as you can see. The rifling goes all the way to the the, the tip of the uh, the muzzle, uh, and the one on the left, as you can see, the the rifling stops prior to reaching the end of the barrel or the muzzle. What I'll also do here, guys, is kind of show you up close this particular model 38. If I can get a good, I got a bore light down there, as you can see. And you can actually see how it's smooth all the way down until, you know, it's kind of hard to tell, it's about two inches or so. And you have that uh, spot where the counterbore stops. And unfortunately, the, the picture I don't think is going to pick up the rifling, but it does have a nice, clear, clean rifling from that point on. So a, a good example of a counterboard rifle. So again, ultimately, it decreases the value, increases the accuracy, and is definitely something you guys should be watching for if you're going to be collecting rifles. I uh, hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching, guys.